What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a two-year update on the Century CT bed cover. Stick around. Well, here's a little story about two friends that came together And we started up a YouTube just to talk about whatever We're on a boat catching big bass and smashing them cats From review videos to just making you laugh Cause we got guns, we got knives, we got fishing, we got hunting We got everything you like, so hit that subscribe button We're in the outdoors, doing things that we love We're talking guitars, girls, green grass, and guns Tell you this poison ivy all over me is killing me um anyway if you're in the market for bed covers the century ct hardcover semi hardcover it's uh got a some kind of fabric on top of it if you're looking for it this has been a good great hadn't been good it's been great this has been a great cover for me and i went with the semi hard cover over just the uh vinyl because I don't like my bed cover to be flopping around. This does have the low profile on the sides. It does have some sort of, whatever this fabric is, I, it's just so... I've never put anything on this bed cover. And it's been two years. I haven't treated it or anything. This, it's just what it does. This is really dirty. And if you, if you can't tell, it is really dirty. For some reason... When you go down a gravel road, it'll come off of the gravel road looking just like this. I don't know why or how, but this thing just doesn't show dirt very well. Even though there are a couple pieces of actual mud up here on top and some bird poop, it does stay very clean. Like, I haven't washed my truck in a couple of months. Just look how clean that is. Let's talk about the durability of it. Uh, it's been great. Like I say, it, it's been great. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with this uh the string pole the lock works just like it should and to say i don't use my bed kit cover very much uh to say i don't use the bed cover very much is i don't know what to say about that but i use my bed i fold this up all the time as you can see it's got scratches up here on the top from folding this top down on stuff uh, it's a grass catcher right now but as you can see there's a bunch of leaf debris in here and everything so i do use my bed and because I do use my bed with the bed cover, I know for a fact this this thing doesn't leak. With a caveat, there is a little bit of a leak, but it's not enough to sway anybody away from this bed cover. We've put suitcases back here, drove through pouring rains, 70 miles an hour. It, it, it doesn't leak enough to get your suitcases wet. If you leave this out here for a whole month, that's when I noticed a little bit of water in the back and it wasn't even much to talk about. It was just a little bit of damp grass. So I can't honestly even say if it leaked or if it was just the grass that accumulated moisture on the inside of that. Uh, it's just been a great, great bed cover. I'd recommend it to anybody. Nothing has went wrong with it. It stays waterproof on the inside, water resistant maybe. Uh, the durability of it, it's held up so good. The water, as you can see that the water wicked off here without a problem, so all of their claims on this thing stays clean and dry. And it's a fact. I don't know how that does that. Uh, even when the water does kind of set in and saturate, which it's hard to do. I'm touching this, and it's taken a while for that to absorb into the fabric. But when that does saturate, I really don't know where the water goes. I think it sits on top of the aluminum, goes off the side, but at any rate, it does not go into the bed. Guys, if you're in the market for a bed cover and you want the semi-hard, whatever you want to call it, cover, the Century CT is a great option. One thing that I do want you to be aware of, this says that this does hold a maximum of 400 pounds. Don't look into those because this will not hold 400 pounds. You can see my hand on here pushing down 10, 15 pounds. It's already been in it. So it will not hold 400 pounds. I think that that's a distributed weight across the whole top. Definitely not meant for anybody to stand on. If you're looking for something more durable, I would suggest going into a hard cover. If you want something less durable, the vinyl covers are a great option. But anyways, I love this cover. I would recommend it to anybody. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.
What's going on guys? AD here, G4 Outdoors. If you liked this video, and I know you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button up here. Check out one of these videos right here off to the side. You're gonna have a fun time watching these videos, I promise. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys later.